What's going on guys, it's me JG, welcome back to another episode of F1 2016. This time we're going to go into Bahrain, I hope I'm saying that right, and uh, I will see you guys for qualifying, because I'm going to do all the practice and stuff, you know, for the um development points. And if anything like cutscene comes up, I will let you guys know, but I will see you guys back at qualifying. So I just got done with practice, and uh... Yeah, we got some. We was able to score some nice points. We had the voicemail. Hi, just letting you know that we've had the team's expectations through for the upcoming qualifying session. Qualify 18 for how you beat for John. Okay, cool. Um, laptop. Let's see. Water report. Dry conditions. But yeah, we should be on par for a good finish because, like, like I said, we're a little bit faster than Toro also, but just a little bit behind Williams. But, uh, yeah. We're just gonna go, let's go to qualifying and, uh, let's try to set a good lap. <laughs> Bahrain is definitely one of my favorite tracks on the circuit. I don't know why, but it is. The drivers are ready. We hope you're ready as qualifying is about to begin here in Bahrain. This has been an exciting track in times gone by and typically it entertains the moment the lights go out. Turn one's always a consideration for this race. It's certainly a difficult one to get right when surrounded by other cars, but the race isn't won or lost there. You've got to be smart, get through and hope your rivals get into trouble and not you. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's go to track. Let's try to put in a great qualifying lap. Well, this is not right. I wonder if they like nerf the difficulty because I did now the first race. Yeah, this, this is it, right? I came in like tenth in practice. But hey, looks like we might actually sit on the pole. Whoa, whoa! Car gets super squirrely right there. Yeah, it's like we gonna sit on the ball, so that means I might have to bump up the difficulty next race. But, uh... Yeah. Well, <laughs> it looks like we gonna... Sit on the ball for this race. I mean, I do love Bahrain, but... Yeah, something's not right here. Something's definitely not right here. I'll be one to admit it. Down, the excitement of qualifying... Here's a look at your top three. A Haas, Hamilton, and Nico Rosberg. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the Grand Prix itself gets underway. Oh well, guys, we'll see you for the um actual race. Let's see a rivalry update after qualifying. Oh, we're beating him now. We're leading the rivalry by a lot now. Like oh. We're back into good standing. Let's let's not let's not DNF this race. Hi, it's Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. Finish thirteen for higher. Gotcha. Probably might even win the race if the difficulty is where it's at. I think it is. Let me check the diff if I can check the difficulty 
and it says medium, I'm gonna be very upset. Uh, doesn't say anything. All right, well, I'll see you guys when the lights go out. The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act. Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and two DRS zones will help with that as well. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Bahrain has showed us many times in the past though, Anthony Davidson, that a good strategy will only take you so far. Beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. Well, um, at the qualifying... Okay, to protect the inside on the run down to turn one. Make yourself as wide as possible, robust, but fair. So at before the, the off... Let's remind ourselves okay. of yesterday's After qualifying, um, I saw the difficulty. It was on, it was on hard, right? so I just Hamilton bumped it up to expert since Looking I won the, the pole. The so, um, this should be a fairly good race. So, uh, hopefully, you know, we get off the line great. It's real, right? And you already see, yeah, the Mercedes are just eating me alive. Well, I'm sorry about that, Hamilton, but your teammate didn't give me any room. Oh yeah, those um, Mercedes are already gone. Ooh. I am holding up these Ferraris and I kind of feel bad. <laughs> See, what lap do they want me to pick? So lap 5 through 7. We'll probably put them in around lap 6. That is if Gojan doesn't think the same. Ooh, got a little bit too high there missing part of missing the, that is that like itty bitty part of the ring is really messing with the car doing the corners I don't know if you guys can tell or not but oh man it's really messing with it especially the high speed sections back there oh yeah here go the four arteries by this is to be expected I mean, I am in an underpowered house. But no, we're still fighting with Vettel. I had to cut the corner a little bit because Vettel wasn't giving me room. No, that was Raikkonen. Sorry, that was Raikkonen. I was looking at the wrong name on the um, score right there. I had to go wide again. I'm still on the outside of Raikkonen. Able to get the power down just a little bit quicker. Oh, man. Through the high speed corners, you can really tell the car is struggling right there with that little bit, it, um, bit of wing down. I think my next upgrade is definitely going to be the engine power. As you can tell, we have zero to no straight line speed, but our corners are actually done very well. Oh yeah, there we go again, that ring. We just don't have the downforce that we need.
Oh wow, three second time penalty cool. We have to keep in mind of that. And here come the Red Bulls and the Ferraris. And again, I was just able to get the power down. Like it in was not even had a really bad one coming off the corner. As now DRS is gonna be enabled. Oh look at the teammates back there just fighting. Look at Bodice back there in the Williams. He's trying to make some headway. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to one of my race the Mercedes like I'm on. As to be expected. Um, I'm gonna try for a top five. I'm not sure if I can keep this podium position or not, but I'm gonna try for like at least a top five. Let's do lap five. Keep coming, coming on lap five. They wanted me to come in now. Cause I think they see how much I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, it's like this corner right here, high speed. It's the high speed corners that are messing with me. And you can tell I don't have the straight line speed I need because the um these guys just caught right back up. I mean, I was going to try to move defensive, but it didn't work out. Okay, cool, no way. Now, I'm not sure if Vettel's close enough for DRS. Oh, yeah, he's definitely close enough for DRS. Raikkonen got his DRS going. The Ferrari teammates are battling each other hard. Oh, no, I missed the corner just a bit. Yo, I can't can get by me, and I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad I upped the AI difficulty. But, yeah, we're going to be pitting next time by, so. Oh, no. Oh, this car is like a bitch to turn. Just look at the long line of cars that are behind us, because we, we're one in third in an underpowered Haas car. And now they, everybody right there just has DRS. Yep, there goes Raikkonen, or there goes at least Raikkonen tried. He tried it. I'm just a little bit better in the corners. Oh, 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 car would not slow down. And I get bumped off the road. Let's change. Let's do this now. Let's just pit now. We're just going to pit now. We're going to switch to mediums instead of softs. Because I need that damage taken care of. I need that damage taken care of. By the way, I did a nice job getting into pit road. I just want to pat myself on the back. Alright. Oh. 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 A virtual safety car. What happened? What even happened? What even happened? What's the Delta pace? Why is the safety car out? Who crashed? Was it one man? Cause he's in the pits. I don't know, Gray's back out. Yeah, we're still in last place. Our strategy might have killed us. 
we probably gonna score points again, but uh, seven laps left in this race, who knows? Like they put me on medium tires where everybody else was on soft. I probably shouldn't have done this change, but I want to get the damage done as quick as I want to get like the damage taken care of as quick as possible. But yeah. Let's go, John. Didn't catch that. Say again. Teammate. So the gap to our teammate is 13.0 seconds. The time last lap was a 159.5. Oh. Oh wow, Magnuson. Come back here, Palmer. Ooh. This race. Like it isn't okay, no. I was about to say, why could it shouldn't be 17? We're catching Alonzo. So yeah, I found a way to combat the black screen. What you do is like save mid session. And uh Yeah, pick back up where you left off at and I missed the corner back there, so that's how the two one knows that bind me. We shouldn't see any rain, but if a storm front does appear, then we'll let you know. Nice it's gonna stay dry, that's what we want. Okay, I distance two. Now 
we just gotta catch Palmer, get by Palmer, and see if he can make our way back up to 13. Because we don't want to disappoint the team. I'm really regretting that strategy change we did. Like, really regretting it. But we do have DRS on Palm. Let's see if we can catch. Oh, Erickson. Erickson's in 14th now. Let's see if we can catch him. We have five seconds and three laps. Palmer has a huge one. But can't get it done. I broke Ray. Again, broke Ray. I got the brakes way too early. Right there. Palmer's probably going to try and get by me again on this DRS zone. But if you look, look we are catching Erickson quite quick. Then again, he, I believe Erickson is a solver. And well, a high, so. Is Erickson a solver? I'm not completely sure. But yeah, we, we're catching him pretty quick. And we're pulling away from Palmer and his own. Who know? But our goal is 13th. Can we get 13th? It'd be nice if we be able to even get up to 10. But yeah, here's Erickson right here. Just a couple laps to go. Are we able to do it? Okay, cool. Five laps of fuel remaining. Let's kick it up to Rich. It's like Magnus ain't getting around his teammate. Will I be able to... I'm making slight mistakes because that's how hard I'm pushing this car. I don't even think we'd be able to catch Ericsson. We might have ran out of time. We might have ran out of time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in a solver. Oh my god, if a solver beats the high, so I'm gonna be pretty upset. Man, we started on pole because they put my difficulty down for some reason. Who knows why. If we can get this gap into one second before the DRS zone, we'll be golden. like Nico Rosberg won the race. Are we going to be able to catch Ericsson? Oh, fireworks. <laughs> Don't get distracted, Jamal. Don't get distracted. <laughs> no, I don't think we're going to get him, sadly. Yeah, sadly, I don't think we're going to get him. 
disappointing. I mean, we are right here. Give us another lap, he would have had him. Because the D, as soon as the DRS zone opens, the finish line is right there. Well, guys, it's like we finished P15. Yeah, better luck next time. <laughs> better luck next time, indeed. And it sucks. Brilliant stuff from Mercedes today. That's another historic win. Tell me, Alex, what was the key to this success? The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimize each stint and get the most out of the tires. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. And the credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well oiled machine oh, behind the seat six, huh? without a talented hand in the wheel, of course. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. Just like it's gonna it's be Rosberg, to Hamilton, and Vettel on the podium. Of course. Grand Prix. They spray the champagne on each other. Let's take a look at the driver standings. It's a good result for Nico oh, Rosberg. Get a who extends his advantage at the top. Not Rosberg. Grosjean get a to the driver of the day. Then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Felipe Massa. For Massa, me, driver that was of the day. performance that drawn every bit of his not unsubstantial experience. On to the constructors then. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Another team that excelled today was Williams. Who make further progress up the table after all that excitement it's time oh wow look at these incidents i get thanks for joining us and goodbye until hmm. the next race oh wow wiking in his beams wiking in was sped on the safety car he had to drive through same for stepping wow for stepping also get what do i mean for stepping collide i don't know but yeah apparently we collided and then yeah well guys we didn't get the we didn't get the top thirteen like we wanted to, but we did finish the race, so that is important. Um, let's see, we're still seventeen from points. We moved up to seventeen from points. I mean, um, constructors Haas is in seven for forty four points thanks to Grosjean, and um, uh, let's see if they're gonna have to say anything to us. Can't tell if it's black screen or. Okay, it's not. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Gojan probably passed us again. I don't know. I'm leading the rivalry by one. That is actually hilarious. Yeah, no. Minus one. Minus one. Oh wow, we're at three. Oh no, we might get fired soon if I don't pick up the pace. Let's see our total career score. Nice. Well, guys, that was it for for rain. And um, let's see. The next race is gonna be at what's the next race? Next race is going to be at China, so, um, hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully at China we'll be able to finish top 10 to get some points for, um, Haas, and hopefully we get this, we want this drive position to go up. So, we will see you guys next time, and bye-bye.